Another collusion shocker hits the country. This time, the Competition Commission charges furniture removal company Statford Van Lines with 649 counts of collusive tendering. The Commission found that Statford colluded with its competitors from at least 2007. This was for hundreds of furniture removal tenders, mostly involving government departments. The case has been referred to the Tribunal for adjudication. The Commission is asking the Tribunal to fine the company 10% of its annual turnover on each of the 649 charges. Companies found to have colluded with Stutterford have subsequently settled with the Commission. These are J.H. Retief Transport, Cape Express Removals, Patrick Removals, N.D. DeLange Transport. Joining us over the phone line is Makhale Mohlala, the Commission's Cartel's Divisional Manager. Thanks for joining us. A successful result to the probe after seven years. Is this a reasonable time frame to bring cartel members to book? Uh, thank you uh, for having me and good afternoon uh, to the viewers. The commission preferred Starafort to the Tribunal for Prosecution on 649 charges. This number of charges are uh, the ones that in the history of the institution we have not uh, referred such a magnitude number of charges. So this is uh, a huge case that uh, we need the tribunal to impose for each and every incident of collusion a penalty of 10% of Stutterford's annual turnover. Other companies have settled. Why is Stutterford the last one standing in terms of being fined? That's correct. Other uh, respondents have settled. Uh, Stutterford did not agree to settlement. They were offered as early as around 2015 to settle this incident like all other respondents that have settled. But they have decided not to settle. That's why we had to spend time uh, preparing these charges uh, against them. That was Mahale Mohlala, the Commission's Cartel's Divisional Manager, joining us over the phone line. And that's all we have time for in Goody.